In this Excel video, we're going to learn the Excel Help tab and ribbon in depth. Let's get started. So this video is one in a series in which we're looking at each of the default tabs and ribbons that come in Microsoft Excel. And this particular tab and ribbon is a lot more limited than some of the others. Look at the View tab or look at the Review tab, the Data tab, the Page Layout tab. Many of these are a lot more full of options and tools and features, but the help tab and ribbon is much more limited. And of course, the way these tabs and ribbons look for you may depend on the version of Excel that you have. I'm working now in the Microsoft 365 version of Excel. And so if yours looks a little different, it may be because you have Excel 2016 or some other version, but that's okay. Most of it will be very similar. So here on the help tab and ribbon, you can see we just have two groups, the help group and the community group. In the help group, I get a question mark here at the left that says help get help using Microsoft Office. So I can click there and it opens up this help panel at the right and I can search for information or help on whatever I need to do in Excel. So for example, let's say I want to use a pivot table, but I don't quite know how to do that or I don't understand what it is necessarily. I can type in pivot table, tap enter, and I get a definition of what is a pivot table and I get a link here for an overview of pivot tables and pivot charts and I get some more results here. Create a pivot table to analyze worksheet data. I can click there and Excel will give me more help, including short videos that I can watch. And another nice thing about this help panel that opens up is, look, I can select what version of Excel I want help with. Right now I'm working in Windows, but I also have Excel for Mac. So if I click on Mac, it can provide me with some other information. Now, not all features that are in the Windows version of Excel are also in Mac. So you may be disappointed sometimes to find out, oh, I can't quite do this on my Mac like I can in Windows, but that's okay. Of course, Excel is a Microsoft product and so is Windows, so it works best on a Windows computer, but the Mac version is really good too. There's also a web-based version of Microsoft Excel, and so I can select web to get information specific to the web version of Excel. So this is a great, useful thing here I have at the right this help panel and I can X out of it to close it and get back to working on my spreadsheet. Now if you put your mouse over the help button here at the left you'll see that there is a keyboard shortcut for it, F1. So anytime you're working in Excel, if you'd like, you can just tap F1, the panel will open up, and you can get the help that you need. When you're done, just X out of it, and you're back. Okay, next we have a button to help us contact support. If you click that button, you get another panel at the right. It says, we're here to help. Tell us your problem so we can get you the right help and support. And depending on the version of Excel that you have, and is it your own personal Microsoft account, or is it through your work, you may get a little bit different results here. But you can type your question here. This is probably not a great example of the type of question you would ask, but I could click Get Help, and it's searching for some results that can help me. So this is nice. It helps me to insert a flowchart, gives me step-by-step -step instructions for some of that, create a chart from start to finish, so this is some good, solid help that doesn't involve talking to a person. It's just guiding me to resources, similar to the help button, but maybe with a little bit better organization and maybe other support. Now, next to this question mark here on the contact support panel, you can see there is a headset. And again, depending on the version that you have, you may be able to click that and interact with a Microsoft agent that can help you. I don't have access to that right now, so I'm not gonna show it to you, but we also have here a request history that goes along with this second button. So if you've contacted support, you can look at the request history to see how that went, to see how many times you've contacted them and any help that they've given you, stuff like that. So I'm gonna close out of this contact support panel and let's move on to the third button that we have in the help group on the help ribbon. If you click on feedback, you can send some feedback to Microsoft. I could give a compliment, something like that. I really like the newest features. I could include a screenshot if I want to. I could upload a file. May we contact you about your feedback? I'm going to say no in this case, but if you want, yeah, you could say yes, and they might contact you saying, oh, thanks for your nice comments. I'll click submit, 
and that feedback has been sent to Microsoft. Now, if I click that again, notice that I can also report a problem that I see in Excel. This might be just a problem that I'm having on my computer. Maybe Excel on my computer is conflicting with another program that I'm using, and because I'm using both at the same time, I see some compatibility problems or some bad interactions between the two. So I could describe that, or maybe I've found a flaw in Excel where there's a bug or a problem that Microsoft needs to work on and fix. So I could provide detail about that. A screenshot would be very helpful. I could upload files once again. And again, I can decide whether or not I want them to contact me. I'm going to back out of that because I don't really have a problem to report. I could make a suggestion. Now, if you click that button, it will open a tab in your browser, as you can see here. And I could sign into my Microsoft account and put in a suggestion for ways in which they could make Excel better. You can see this is one suggestion, true dark mode, a checkbox in Excel to represent true false values. These are all interesting ideas and there's many more there. So you can make a suggestion to help make Excel even better. I'm going to X out of that. Let's move on to the fourth button in the help group. It's called show training. When I click there, I get a new panel here at the right with some Excel training. There's a quick start guide for Excel. There's information about formatting, pivot tables, tables and charts, Power Query, Formula Tutorial, all sorts of wonderful tools. I'm going to go here to the Formula Tutorial and I'll click. And when I do, it downloads an Excel workbook from Microsoft to my computer. And you can see it opened it up and it's opened in Protected View. So I'm going to enable editing. But it's up to you if you want to not do that. I think it's fine because it's from Microsoft. But it says get started with formulas in just a few steps. You'll be able to start using these formulas. So I'll click let's go. And look at this. This is a training from Microsoft and it's in Excel. It's got detailed information about how to set up a formula. You can move on here. If you look at the bottom part of this spreadsheet, there are tabs for introduction to functions, the max and min functions, if statements, conditional functions, etc. Now, of course, you're watching my video, so I'm sure it's because you prefer my voice and my tutorials to reading this kind of information in a workbook. But it's still nice to have this. Please watch my video tutorials, but uh, this does give you some nice visuals and another way for you to learn more about Excel. I'm going to close out of that, and I'm just going to choose Don't Save, but it's up to you if you want to save it. So that's what these trainings are like, and you can access them here by clicking Show Training. I'll close out of that panel. In the help group, we also have a what's new button. And you click that, you get a new panel at the right, and we get links to new features and updates. Visit current channel release notes. If you click that link, it opens up a web page. Here it is. It's got release notes for the current versions, the most recent builds, so you can read through that. You can also learn about new features coming for Microsoft 365 Insiders, so you can click here to get some notes about that. Clicking the link, once again, it opens up a web page that you can then read to learn about about the newest features. So for right now, that what's new button, it doesn't do a whole lot. It just basically sends you to two different web pages. But that can be helpful and it's a good reminder that you can know what's coming, you can know what's new just by clicking that button and clicking a link. Okay, let's move on to the community group on the help ribbon. We have the community button. You click that and it takes you once again to a web page. This is the Microsoft Tech Community specifically about Excel. And we have this pinned post. It looks like by the forum leader or admin. And it says, welcome to your Excel discussion space. And here, if you're signed in, you can post some discussion questions. You can read other people's comments. You can search. So I'm going to click there and search. And I'll look for things about Power Query. Now that I've searched that, there's all of these posts from the community. And I can learn from other members of the Microsoft Excel community. I can interact with them, post my own questions and comments and answers. So it's a really nice, fun way to get even more involved in using Excel. Finally, there's also an Excel blog button in the community group. So I'll click that, Excel blog, visit the Excel blog, it says. And so just like some of the other recent buttons that I've shown, this opens up a web page. Here it is. And this Excel blog brings me new information about different aspects of Excel. What's new in Excel? What are some new functions? that have recently come out, how to optimize narrator. There's all of these great 
articles basically on these topics. I'm gonna to click here on what's new in Excel, October 2023. It opens up with some information about the newest features in Microsoft Excel. So taken all together as a whole, the tools and information that we have on the help tab and ribbon really can help me to get better at using Excel. That's what I like about it. Let's say I'm working on a spreadsheet and I just need a little bit of a brain break from what I'm working on. It's nice to be able to come here to the help tab and learn what's new, do a little training, just something a little different than what I was working on. And then when I'm done, I can go back to what I was working on. It's also a great place to get help on those features and tools that you know you need to learn and that you might need in your current situation, but you just never have really mastered or learned how to do those things. Or maybe you've forgotten this help group and the community group on the help ribbon could really be just the thing that you need to be successful. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you'll also watch the other videos in this series on the Excel tabs and ribbons. And if you'd like to learn how to make Excel artwork or text, just like I've done here, please watch my video on pixel art in Excel. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, I hope you'll click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, as it says here, please consider becoming a channel member. You'll get some nice custom perks just for you, including access to a behind the scenes members only podcast. So consider clicking the join button below the video. You can also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll learn more about those options in the description below the video.